All right, so in this video, I'm gonna be showing you essentially how to make a horizontal progress bar and how to give it that nice little animation that you just saw in the video right here. And that's essentially it. It's gonna be a very short video, very simple video. So let's get started. First, you want to open a new empty activity and get rid of this text view. And then we're gonna to go to the widget selector. And I believe under widgets, you can just drag in a progress bar horizontal. Then we'll go back here and we are gonna change this to a relative layout so I can make it a bit faster. It already has an ID, which is great. Then we're wanting, we're gonna want to center it in our parent and add that to true so it's perfectly in the middle. Take away this tools one, get rid of, actually get rid of all of this. We're gonna do 200 dp, let's say. And we're gonna do a scale Y so we can make it a bit thicker, if just in case, I mean, it's kind of hard to see at the moment and we're gonna give that four. So at the moment you've got a pretty nice looking bar there. And that's all you need actually in the uh, XML layout. So let's go straight to the main activity. All right, and as soon as we change the main activity, we're gonna to wanna to set the max for our progress bar. We'll do progress bar dot max and we'll do equals 10, for example. And then we're gonna actually have to give the progress bar value so we can see it load up to the certain value you specify. So we'll do val, uh, current progress, let's say, equals, uh, let's go to six. And then we're gonna animate it. So we're gonna go objects, animator, and I believe it's of int. So we'll go of int, and inside here you want to put your progress bar. Then you wanna put the parameter you want it to kind of animate, so we'll do progress. And finally, we're gonna put the value, which is gonna be called current progress, uh, perfect. Then down here, we're gonna write set duration, and I'm gonna give it, let's say, I guess 2000, which is two seconds. And we're gonna call start on that. And that's absolutely all you need to make this work. So we click on play. And as you could see there, it came out, it was a bit chunky and the reason is it's only had six chunks to work with. And if you want to kind of smoothen that out, we're gonna change the max to say, let's say 1000 and add this to 600. So it will have 600 small bits to load. And if we rerun the app again, you'll see it's gonna be much smoother as soon as it loads. And as you saw there, it was much, much smoother. And um, yeah, that's actually all there is to creating this simple progress bar. If you want to rotate it and do things, it's pretty simple. I mean, like you could just go here and do rotation and let's say 180. Uh, it's actually idiotic. Let's go minus 90. And then your progress bar will go straight up. And yeah, that's another useful tip, but uh, that's all I had to show in this video. So thanks for watching.